The Ningaloo Reef. About a thousand kilometers north of Perth, there's nowhere else in the world you can access a large coral reef so easily, literally just meters away from the shore. One of a few places in the world where you can swim with the likes of whale sharks, manta rays, and even humpback whales. But we're gonna be diving into the reef and checking out the coastal towns along the way. This morning's morning coffee sat on the beach. Yeah, we literally camped right behind the sand dune last night. Um, we came to Cape Range National Park. We didn't show it last night because it was dark when we got here. But we walked down to the beach and yeah, we're literally overlooking the Ningaloo Reef. The water is crystal clear. Yeah. But the flies continue to pester us. Yeah, I wouldn't even say that. I would say they are rowing and pestering us. They are, they are the really bad, worst yeah. flies we have experienced this morning. We need to get one of those hats yeah. that you put on top of your head with a little net on. We should have bought one before our trip. Sitting down here, we've got a little break from them, but by the car, you honestly had about a hundred just stuck to you. It was horrible. For the plan for this episode, so we're starting off just above Exmouth in the Cape Range National Park. We're going to do some snorkeling this morning, mm -hmm. probably a walk through the National Park. And then we booked a dive to go with manta rays. Yeah. In Coral Bay. Should be good. We've come to a place called Turquoise Bay to kick off our trip. It's supposed to be some amazing snorkeling. Yeah. You do what's called the drift loop because the current's so strong. You basically just walk a few hundred meters down the beach and just let the tide bring you back in. Hmm. I'm excited. It's very good. It was voted the third best beach in the world in 2022. Don't know where I came in 22. Wow. <laughs> this is absolutely stunning. Look at that water. And what is so nice about the Ningaloo is that the reef is right by the water. You can literally just go snorkel. Whereas compared to the Great Barrier Reef, you have to get like a two hour boat journey out to the reef. But here, look. We literally bought these snorkel and flippers like six months ago, but this is going to be the first time we're actually using them. I think they look pretty cool. How clear. Crystal clear. Is it in the top three beaches in the world? I think so. It's in my top three anyway, apart from the flies. If the flies were dead, it'd be top one. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Big statements. That is big statement. Mission complete. These guys are crazy. I've never seen anything like it. They said that it's not normally this bad. It's because it's like in between temperature of like not too hot, not too cold. Yeah. So and then it's just they're just rampant. Thousand. It's horrible. But we've got our net. We've come to a spot called Mandu Mandu. It's supposed to be a very nice walk. It's very fly heavy this vlog, but when they're here, what are we supposed to do? But don't let it put you off coming to Cape Range because they're not always like this. Apparently. We just got unlucky. So it says that the walk is about three kilometers 
and to allow two hours for a return journey. But we've read. That takes about 30 minutes. Oh my god, how many on my. This looks very cool. Laura's tricked me into this walk. Didn't realise that we're going up here. This was the view from the top of the gorge. Very beautiful, and you could see the roof right in the distance. Right, down we go. That's the sign we like to see. We've come to Oyster Stacks. It's another snorkeling spot here in Cape Range. And you have to come here during high tide because there's these big um, like coral, I don't know how you describe them, like stacks. Like stacks. And you can only snorkel there when it's above 1.2 meters, I think it is. So yeah, we've got about an hour left of high tide um, before they'll be exposed and then you can't swim with them. And that is why everyone is here because you can only come once a day, basically. So let's go before they sink. Not sink. The opposite of sink. was very very cool that yeah. was some really good snorkeling yeah i was so surprised how it was literally right off the yeah coast. you literally walk into it and then it is massive like yeah there's a lot of people here but because there's loads of space you could swim yeah like we didn't see anyone because really. you could swim because you could swim far <laughs> definitely recommend coming here yeah make sure you check the tide time <laughs> Social society, and it is popping off here this morning. It's Very a busy. Saturday, to be fair, but it's a really yeah. cute little cafe. It's got a little shop in here, mm. and nice, like the little cool vibe. Yeah, it sells all vegan and vegetarian food and good coffee. There is not one but two breweries in Exmouth, and this is Frost. Frost Brewery. Fro Frost. One of the two. It is happy hour. The best hour of the day. And this is the creamiest looking beer I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it literally looks like a banana milkshake. These flies in my eyes. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to happy hour. Mm. That is good. Mm. I love you, Exmouth. Is it Exmouth or Exmouth? I say Exmouth, Laura says Exmouth. I Let think, us know in the I think it's Exmouth. Let us know. Or are we both wrong? Are you with me or me? Flies no different in Coral Bay, but if we thought that Exmouth was small, this is like 10%. We are staying in a campsite just there. Shops and a dive centre just there. And a restaurant. Beach there. The end. <laughs> After checking out Coral Bay, it was finally time to go and find some manta rays.
the GoPro was absolutely doo-doo, but basically what I was saying was, as soon as we jumped in the ocean, we saw the manta rays immediately. They swam right underneath us. But then we had to swim as fast as we could to keep up with them. We were swimming, 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 and we thought we lost them. We thought they went out into the distance. But then suddenly, just woof, they just swam right at me and Laura, and we literally had to duck out the way to get out of the way from them. And we afterwards, we were just floating there like, oh, that was so crazy, that was so crazy. And our guide just said to us that we just caught the end of a mating session. And the reason that they just suddenly changed direction was because the woman was trying to get away from the male. How crazy we just caught that intimate interaction. But here it is again, and you can hear Laura screaming. What an insane day. Like, so good. I think we couldn't have asked for a better like, no. manta ray interaction. Was energetic and majestic. And jumpy. Very Even good. Though, yeah, so good. And Ningaloo, you've been amazing. I don't want to leave, but we'll be back for sure. For sure. For sure. We've just spotted the Exmouth Emu by the big prawn. What a sight. That is so cool. Hey, don't mind, he's just chilling. 